I've, I've mentioned it before, you know, a title unification match, Jorge Linares is the number one guy that stands out the most. Um, if that's unavailable, at 140, you know, you got title unification matches right now coming around the corner between Crawford and Ndongo. You know, that would be a great matchup. But we all know the promotional, you know, problems sometimes don't allow fights to happen. So I'm not going to be waiting for anybody, you know. All right, 78 Sports TV, you heard that, man. He did talk about Terrence Crawford after the fight. Um, let's rewind that one more time in case you guys missed it. Because uh, you got 78 Sports TV saying that he called out Keith Thurman but won't mention Crawford. Most, um, if that's unavailable, at 140, you know, you got title unification matches right now coming around the corner between Crawford and Ndongo. You know, that would be a great matchup. We all know the promotional, you know, problems sometimes don't allow fights to happen. So I'm not gonna be waiting for anybody. You know, I, I think look, look at the, the turnout tonight and look at the media and everybody. You know, as far as the response goes, this is probably as straight up as you're gonna get. He's willing to fight Crawford or in Dongo, but you know, Bob Arum just can't get in the way of this. Um, 78 Sports TV, you know, good channel, but uh, you know, one thing is is that. You've always used Bob Arum as the reason why someone like Manny Pacquiao won't fight any of the top welterweights. Um, could there be a chance that Bob Arum uses that same uh, protective energy with someone like Crawford, who's just about to pick up uh, all four titles? Because in my opinion, he's going to beat Ndongo fairly easily. Could there be a good chance that there's some form of protection program being placed by Bob Arum? Um, I mean, it's something that you would talk about constantly when it comes down to Lomachenko, uh, uh, Pacquiao. So why not Crawford, who's also under Bob Arum? Uh, Mikey Garcia probably laid it out as clear as day that he's willing to fight Crawford. But um, we can't ignore the the... The whole issues with with what's going on with the promotional companies, but beyond that, um, other than that, you know, I, I know you're saying that uh, Mikey Garcia never called out Crawford. Uh, this right here is just showing you that he has and he did. Also, um, you know, one thing I noticed is after Mikey Garcia put that beating on Broner, uh, there's a lot of talk about how fighters when they win they feel like they're better than they really are after beating. Broner. I haven't heard anybody say that about Porter after he won. All right, people still look at him as a beast. We know that he's a good fighter. He lost to um, Keith Thurman, and no one's going to say, hey, well, Porter was just running on the hype of beating Broner, and uh, Porter was feeling himself. He thought he was better than he really was. You don't hear that kind of language about uh, other fighters that have uh, fought. Uh, Broner, you don't hear that about Maidana either. So, um, you know, I, I think this is a great matchup. I think the fans should demand it. But let's not play this game of, well, Mikey Garcia doesn't want any problems with Crawford. Stop at 78. Let's just let's stop the bullshit there. And let's just talk about the fight as if it will happen and demand it. Other than that, um, good channel. Uh, it's a 78 Sports TV. Go check them out. I'm sure all of you are already um subscribe to him but uh this is aztec 101 in the ring and i'm out